Well, time is up. Over the next two weeks, governments have to deliver a strong and long-term response to the challenge of climate change. And in doing so, I see them delivering on three layers of action. First of all, fast and effective implementation right away without delay on adaptation, on technology, on capacity building in developing countries. Secondly, ambitious commitments to cut or limit emissions as well as start-up financing for developing countries and a long-term funding commitment. And third, a sh long-term shared vision on a low emission future for all. It's on those three levels that governments must deliver an ambitious response to climate change over the next two weeks. I believe that negotiators now have the clearest signal ever from world leaders to craft a solid set of proposals to implement rapid action. And never in the 17 years of climate change negotiations have so many different nations made so many firm pledges together. Almost every day now, countries announce new targets or plans of action to cut emissions. It's simply unprecedented. The, the Kyoto Protocol is the only international legally binding instrument that we have to address climate change. Um, the Kyoto Protocol does not have an expiry date. It only has a first commitment period that runs up to 2012. And I think that the vast majority of countries present in these negotiations have made it very clear that they want to see a continuation of the Kyoto Protocol and secondly, that they want to build uh, an approach under the Convention that encompasses the United States, that allows for prompt start financing, and that engages developing countries now. I know two things for sure. First, there will be many more steps on the road to a safe climate future, but also few turning points. And Copenhagen must be such a turning point. Thank you.